Hi, I'm Arbs here, and today I'd like to talk to you about Microsoft Elite Series 2 controllers. The Microsoft Elite Series 2 controller has been around since, believe it or not, November of 2019. Yes, 2019. Isn't that really amazing it's been around that long? It was the successor to the Elite Series 1, and we did get a refresh back in September of 22 when they introduced the cores, and we'll talk about that in just a second. In addition, Microsoft also introduced Introduce the ability to take the core controller and customize it in the Microsoft Design Lab. The Microsoft Elite Series 2 also is one of the more interesting controller series because it only has one special edition controller. That's right, there is really only one special edition controller for the Elite Series 2, and that is the Halo Infinite controller that you see down below. The Halo Infinite controller is the only official Elite Series 2 special edition controller available. I don't know how many they really made and if they really made as many as they said they did and those types of things. It was kind of in a weird situation with Halo and I, I totally get it but I think the scalpers wound up with a lot of them and you can expect to pay upwards of $350 if you're lucky enough to be able to afford one. In addition to that as we talked about as you see here in the center this is the official Marbs Man controller Elite Series 2 designed by none other than Chai Town himself. And there's a special video on that if you'd like to learn more. What is interesting is, is that they did bring the Elite Series 2 to the Controller Design Lab, and you could customize and produce your own Elite Series 2. So I do think that that did alleviate some of Microsoft's desire to actually want to produce more special edition controllers. I think Microsoft has heard the comments from controller collectors that they'd like to see more limited and special edition controllers. But back in September of 22, we received, you know, almost manna from heaven when Microsoft announced the red, the white, and the blue Core Series Elite Series 2 controllers. Now, the Core was the same thing as the Elite Series 2, a revised design. They made some mechanical changes and some tweaks, and these were supposed to eliminate some of the problems they were having with the Elite Series 2. And, um, well, let's just say those of us who had less than functional Elite Series 2 and already owned paddles, already owned the charging block, already owned the case, didn't want to buy them again. So the offering the lower cost core only controller without all the accessories seemed like a great idea and Microsoft of course jumped all over that. And then, you know, that definitely seemed to spur some sort of QA increase, I do think that in 22 forward, the QA of the Microsoft Elite Series 2 controllers has gotten somewhat better. I've been rather fortunate with my Elite Series 2 controllers in that I haven't had as many problems with the bumpers or the stick drift. But I do think now with the Elite Series 3 fast approaching or so we believe. It's a perfect time to look back on the Elite Series 2 and see all of them all together at one time and, you know, reminisce about why I like the Elite Series 2. My answer of why I use the Elite Series 2 as my daily driver these days is because I kind of scuff out my Elite Series 2. I use the scuff paddles and also the scuff stick top. So it's kind of a scuffed Elite Series 2. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I didn't adapt to the new scuff controller as well as I might have liked. And I think that going back to the Elite Series 2 was kind of a natural for me. And it became my daily driver. I don't know if that means that the Elite Series 3 is going to be my daily driver. We'll have to see when it arrives. I think Hall Effect sticks are going to be the big ask that many people are looking for with the Elite Series 3. And the idea of being able to virtually eliminate stick drift, I do think is a great idea and something its time is long past due. And I think for an Elite Series controller, that should be something that should be on the agenda of things that we want to enhance in the new Elite Series 3. It's great to talk about new features and, and other things for the Elite Series 3, but you know, the truth of the matter is, is that I want a controller that's gonna be reliable and functional, and that to me is more important than anything else. Would be nice if it were a little spiffy at the same time. My look at Elite Series 2. My name is Barbs. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye now.